a little giant little 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 that's not what you want so eliminating water though too at the same time or at least areas the wrong deal he's dark huh he's a grass grass fish grass bass that's probably what we heard just blow up about two seconds ago huh He didn't have any friends. At least none that stuck around. There's another one in there. How fast do you normally work the frog when you're this time of year? Pretty. It depends on how the moody the fish are. Yeah. How much pressure they're getting. Any more pressure slow it down or just more pressure? Yeah. I mean, it depends. Whatever everybody's doing, you got to do the opposite. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See a million frogs come through here doing the same exact thing. All right. You see, there's different types of grass here too. Like this stuff is different than that stuff right here. Yeah. I'm not seeing any cheese out here. That just it's not it hasn't been hot enough for long enough. Yeah. It'll, this whole thing will be nothing but cheese. Really? The whole from that island all the way to that that house down there. And all that's, out there. That's when they really bury up in this stuff. That's uh, yeah, but it can be good but you might not ever find them. Yeah. But when, if you find them in it, <laughs> it it's done. Uh-oh, uh-oh, got a follower. Huh? Got a follower. What are you talking about? He's coming after it. What is? There's a frog. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, we got two of them, now they're competing for it. Catch them. Ah. Cute little froggies. You got kind of like a like a bright green head to them, huh? Yeah. I don't think we have any frogs that are bright green headed, do we? If my other frog box is in here, yeah, I do. That's I have that copper's deal. Oh, I should have one. Those are cool frogs. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like the ones with the, without the bright head, that same green, though. There we go. That looks good. That's the one. Schmidt, let's talk about how you select a frog. Let's really get it dialed in. <laughs> I saw a frog look like this frog. I'm throwing this frog. Okay. Pro's pointer. Pro's pointer for the day. Match the hatch. Do you want these legs trimmed at all or? No. Nah. You're fishing this type of stuff, dude. The bigger the presentation is better. Okay. Should be one right here. Like right here. That's what I mean. Is this this area is so fickle. They can be pressured you think like everybody else is like, oh there's gotta be a fish here, they've been here beating up all morning or no. There's no way you can beat up that many fish in this much grass. You, you just can't, you physically can't do it. Because they got so, you know, I mean, look at this. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, though, is, you know, you get into a little, like a little scrape like back there. You have four or five bites. There's small ones or whatever, so you keep going, and you think that you, the whole thing is loaded, and it probably is. There's probably fish all in here, but maybe, you know, Maybe that little group of fish or whatever is not feeding at that time or they don't want a frog and you should be punching or throwing a buzz bait. You're throwing the wrong bait and they don't bite and so you're like, well, whatever. But I, I guarantee you we just fish through hundreds of pounds of bass. Jeez. I guess all this grass, that's what kind of lets clearly like, kind of handle all these tournaments it has and yeah, I mean, four tournaments on a weekend. Is... When you got grass to as far as you can see out there, you can't, you you cannot catch all those fish. You can't. There's there's so many fish. I believe once there's grass like this in this lake, that don't see a bait for six months. <laughs> Jeez. You just can't. You can't fish it all. Yeah. So it makes Clear Lake so good. Yep. Really good habitat for the fry, you know, and and the grass really. You know, all the bait from the silver sides, the hitch, the shad, crawfish, everything. 
they got they can hide so well. That's why grass lakes are so usually so good. Big giant hatchery. Mm -hmm. Not only good for the bass, it's good for you know what they feed on. Yeah. It's a hatchery, nursery, cafeteria. Yeah. All in one. We're gonna freaking get bit by like a eight or nine pounder right here. Donkey. Somewhere. No offense, but I hope it's me. Somewhere. When I when I first got here the other day, I'm like, ah, what color of frog? You see that bird right there? They have these birds around Clear Lake. Some of them have red heads, some of them have yellow heads. Just because it's a frog, you know, obviously, you know, you're throwing it on a mat and you're imitating a frog. That's the same color as that bird, yellow, black and yellow. So for years, you know, me and my buddies up here have been like, dude, they got to eat those birds. You know, the little ones just hatching and stuff this time of year, those birds are in their mating process or whatever. And they're, you know, their babies have that yellow head. And I promise you, man, they jump around here on these mats and stuff. Fish, it's, it's kind of a natural thing in their environment. So. That's that's why the first day of practice I I had actually a black just straight black frog on. Um, took it off, put on the yellow head, and you know I'm not killing them, but getting some bites on it. And then later in the year, I got a California Delta. You have a lot of birds, that same type of bird, just with you know red wings and you know red on their wings and stuff. A red and black frog has always been good at the Delta, so. It's kind of cool. I mean, I don't know if it's if that's the deal or not, but it, it helps with the confidence. I just go with it. I'm confident that there's fish around here, but what if you know? What if they don't suspend up high in the water to come and get a frog or get active on you know on a flipping stick till one o'clock? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, the way that this looks, I feel really good about that. There's fish in here. So it's like, are you wasting your time fishing this outside stuff now because they're just not biting or they're just not in it? And then if you come back here later, I mean, do you come back here later and, you know, if you don't get bit, you're going to be like, I wasted two hours. Yeah. But if you come over here and start getting bit all over the place, then you'll be like, yeah, it's just a timing deal. The Cali Poppin' Frog, you know, and I got it teamed up on the old school light and tough Team Daiwa Frog Rod, but I still had to, you know, use my 7.3 Type R Zillion uh, Real 70 pound Samurai Braid. Another nice Poppin' Fatty fish. Sweet, Love them on dude. the Poppin' Fatty. 